Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boatshed Medway and BoatshedKent.com. Today we're having a look at this lovely sailing yacht, a Contessa 28. We'll have a look around the outside first. The current owner has basically had all the lines led aft and you'll see on the starboard side your clutches and winch this is a two speed blue mark very good quality winches then we're just coming across the top of the companionway looking at our instruments that you'll see on the still shots as well and then across to the port side where you'll see the other lines again led aft to the cockpit for single-handed sailing. You've got your rope tidies here as well. All the side decks have a textured finish to them, making them, and they're quite wide too which makes them quite nice and safe to walk around, which is important when at sea. In the cockpit here we have a beautiful tiller, absolutely gorgeous tiller, with her extension. Our wind instrument, the aerogen whirring away. And if we have a look, you can see that the cockpit seating area has been refurbished too. So you've got a good, deep, safe feeling cockpit refurbished, and she looks very smart and tidy. Lockers, um, as you might see from the pictures, are very, very deep. So you can store all your fenders and uh, outboards and whatever you want to in those. Windows look in good nick too. And here we have coach roof. See the grab rail going up the side. And here's all our lines which as I said are now all sides of the coach roof. A quick look up the mast. See one spreader. And mast base as we were looking at a moment ago. We've got a variety of deck plugs here for all your electrics and whatnot. forward to the foredeck and anchor longer and you can see the furling gear to stay I believe very well out at sea. Quite a traditional design. She will have a good nature about her. Spinnaker pole nicely stowed. And then back around to the cockpit. Right, we're inside this boat now down below decks and unusually I'm starting off on configuration where the starboard side settee berth has been converted 
into a very generous sized double. As you can see it elongates right down there to that of pilot berth as well. So even if you are a tall, tall person, you have plenty of room on this berth. Of course, it all slides back into place and you'll see from the still shots, forms a nice city berth too. We've now made um, up the berth back into city for the saloon. On board this boat if you wanted to. Um, it might be a little bit tight but um, you can. It does say it's six stroke seven berth and there are indeed all the berths. So you've got your single pilot berth, double here, single to port side. Note there's a trot box there for your feet and of course in the forward cabin you've got a double berth. But um, let's start and have a proper look around the main cabin here. You can see the radar and various instruments and electric panels, radio, which I believe is a VHF DSC radio. Yes. The engine TNC's display there. I've got a Garmin 120. It's quite well equipped, really. This boat is. Um, it'll take you anywhere, given the equipment she does have on her. You'll see from the still shot the Alter Helm fixture as well. The speakers up here. Little side lights traditional clock and barometer, nice porthole style mirror, more speakers, there's stowage again below the berths and to the back. Also got these very discreet cupboards here, slide open nice windows which don't have any crazing on them. Then we come to the all important galley area. It's very bijou but um, excellently fitted out. Got a proper oven here, a Nelson oven with which opens here. This very discreetly slides down to reveal the hob on top. Again, sliding cupboards, blue crockery, pots and pans and cleaning materials. Here we have a really good sized um, cooler box. That's an excellent size. I would imagine that there would be no problem putting a fridge element in there if somebody so wished. And here we have our little sink adjacent. And that is a draining area under there. More storage below. The table, as you'll see from the still shots, you can have it like this, you can have it opened out on one side or fully opened up if you're dining with friends. Walk through to the heads. It looks nice and clean in here. Very cleverly designed again. Storage space for your toiletries. Toilet. And here we have hanging locker and another area for storing your goodies. Here we have the forward cabin, decent sized berth here, plenty of storage along the sides, a nice hatch which is tinted glass again no signs of crazing on that. 
and then lots and lots of storage space for your sails and other bits and pieces too. This boat is a really, really good package, I think, ready to sail, ready to go, and should be ideal for either somebody that's starting out in sailing or somebody who perhaps wants to scale down and have a boat to single handedly sail. And she will be very sea kindly, as you can see by her lines. All the bright work and joinery looks in very good shape and complements the lovely exterior of the vessel as well. Last but not least, we'll have a look at the engine bay. And now the owner's going to let us know um, about what he's done on the engine lately. Right. Um, th this part over here is for draining the oil out of the engine. So what you do is put a, a suction pump on there and it goes right to the back of the engine, that pipe and sucks all the oil out. I've replaced the, the stern gland and I've overhauled the uh, prop shaft coupling on the gearbox and there's a new propeller on the back. Thank you very much. So hopefully you'll find that you've had an all round good look at this boat and do contact me at Boatshed Medway on 07940 583 396